Um, Mark FPV, if you have a flight controller that won't connect to Betaflight, the answer is to push down the bootloader button and uh, try to flash it using bootloader slash DFU mode. And if you can't do that, then it may just be bricked. Also, uh, yeah, blunt, yeah, Blunty. Make sure you always desolder anything attached to it, just in case that's the case. Like, well, if that's you, a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you you'll leave everything more soldered, that? and you'll think, like, oh, it's dead. But actually, some component on it is either overdrawing or shorted. Typically, it's like, from what I can tell, it's a partial short. So mm. it's not like tanking everything, but it's lowering the voltage enough where nothing functions properly, right? Well, no, and then, the, oh, sorry, yeah. go ahead, yeah. And, and just in that case, you'll get an LED. Things will light up, but you're not actually going to get any function because the MCU isn't working or something is interrupting the MCU. So in that case, like, the, no matter what, you just want to remove things. The other situation that can happen if something's not shorting is that something is just talking on a UART. Typically, it's UART 1 or 3 for these MCUs that we use, the mm -hmm. processor on your flight controller. Um, and that'll interrupt it from being able to kick into the bootloader mode. It's actually a, a feature, but it, for us, it's an issue because uh, that's not what we want. Yeah, good idea. So yeah, sometimes desolder, excuse me, desolder the receiver, desolder the GPS, desolder the uh, video transmitter, especially a digital video transmitter. Sometimes they can prevent it from going into DFU mode, um, and it's a pain in the ass when that happens. You don't want to have to desolder everything every time you, uh, every time you flash. <laughs> 